This episode of Only Stands is presented by Four Loco, and this year we're talking about Four Loco's Jungle Juice. It will make you feel like the king of the jungle when you're having a Four Loco Jungle Juice. It absolutely rocks. I mean, Four Loco is just the best. You know, you agree. Oh, yeah. What's, what's better than a Four Loco? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling really good. <laughs> it's for the real party animals. Keep is quite a real party animal. She lives in Austin, Texas. That's a great, great party animal city. So if you want to find one of your local Four Locos and buy some Four Loco Jungle Juice or any other Four Locos, go to fourloco.com or follow them on Instagram at Four Loco. And once again, you're going to spell out the word four. It's not the number. F-O-U-R-L-O-K-O on Instagram to find Four Loco. So once again, if you want to find a Four Loco near you, go over there, check it out on Instagram or fourloco.com. And yeah, like I said, we got King of the Jungle. There's gold, there's classic, there's everything. And you are enjoying that. This has been your first Four Loco on an yeah. Sands podcast. It's almost done. And it's basically finished. You finished <laughs> it. So congrats on that. It's uh, they're the best. It's for the real party really animals good. out there. Okay, people, we got another episode of Only Stands today. We have a repeat episode with one of my favorite guests I've had in in the history of the show, but I haven't been on in a long time. It's, I know. Been, it's been a long time. You, you walked in here and you said, "Oh my god, the studio is so different." Because we've had a major overhaul since then, and this overhaul happened, I think, last December, last Christmas break. So I don't think you I think you came on. If I'm gonna guess off the top of my head, it was like maybe. 2022 summer of 2022 was it that long ago i think it may have been i think it was i would venture to guess summer of 2022 so this is a first time long time coming not first time sorry second time long time coming second meeting yeah you've joined the pantheon of guests coming on for the second time we've had christiana love on multiple times angela white jenna lee i'm sure a few oh hannah love i'm sure a few more off the top of my head but you are now in the second guest club so happy to have you here keep on um How's get, how, what? Sorry. Get like a robe or something like a medal or a plaque. Or we actually did get merch today. You can have a hat. You want to yeah. only stand sad? Do you, do you wear <laughs> yeah. hats? I will give you one when I'm done. When we're done here, or a tank top. I don't know if you're gonna. We want to wear a tank top, but we'll we have a bunch that. of tank tops. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't <laughs> think girls want to wear a, a tank top, but still, we have a tank top here. If you want a tank top, it's yours. So anyway, uh, keep shamers is here. Um, new hair, new life, new everything. Fill me in on life updates. Can we talk about life? Okay, life. I just moved to Texas, so that's new. From Hawaii. Yeah, so that was probably one of the biggest moves I've ever had to do in my life. Two Across opposite ends of the spectrums. Yeah. I would bet in terms of lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And then maybe? overseas, everything. Yeah, it's not like you everything. actually like carried stuff over the sea. But. I did. On my back, I swam from Hawaii to Texas. That's just two opposite places. Have you? Um, what was the inspiration to move from Hawaii to Texas? I wanted to go because I have friends out there, and it's closer to family. It's easier to travel, easier flights, easier to buy a house, better taxes. I can do road trips. Like, the list goes on. I just feel like it kind of just made sense. Yeah, I feel like the free state tax is pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. And so, have you bought a house? Not yet, but I'm looking. Damn. Even, you've been, how's the OnlyFans life been going since, you, uh, since we last talked? Have you been popping off at all? It's been doing pretty good, pretty steady. I had to take kind of a hiatus. Um, I wasn't as active when I was moving, but um, it's picking back up. I'm gonna start OFTV soon. Ooh, so that's gonna be exciting. picking back up. What's your What's been your biggest purchase since the last time we talked? What was your biggest splurge? Like my biggest splurge? Yeah, that what, I spent yeah. What you splurge on? I got a um, indoor hot tub to put in my little back unit so I can soak. Ooh, just what do you mean by soak? Soak. Just soak. How <laughs> just much like is How much does an indoor hot tub, tub even cost? Um, not that much, but I got it from Sam's Club so that I can just return it in a couple years when I want to get a real one. You need to return a hot tub? Dude, listen, Sam's Club and Costco, buy anything you want and you can return it within like five years. I literally returned everything from my house in Hawaii. Thank God. What kind of a scam artist are you? What do you mean? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Just so really... what did you return from your house in Hawaii that's equivalent to an indoor hot tub? I returned a bed, a box spring. Um, the mattress for the bed. I returned some house plants, a carpet, a coffee table, um, a TV, and two they, TVs. And they just took back your bed. Yeah, take it all back. They just said we're just gonna keep the whole thing. Yeah. I I know someone who returned a bike that she had for like three years to Costco, and it was like it was rusting and just completely like falling apart in her driveway. And she was like, "Well, I'm moving," and they they took it back, not even with the receipt. Your scam artist. Look. If they offer it, if anybody, if anybody <laughs> sees advantage. this clip, they may you may ruin it for everybody else now that you even said it on a show like this. But whatever, try it out, guys. Try it out. All right. So anyway, so what, what was your biggest memory of Hawaii? Anything, anything good that you miss? What do you miss the most about Hawaii? I miss fire dancing. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot you fire dance. Yeah, I miss doing that. I haven't found a community in Hawaii yet, so I miss that. I miss being able to just jump in the ocean whenever mm. I want. Yeah, That's but... why I get the hot tub soaked. Yeah, I'm trying to think of things I remember about you. I remember the fire dancing. Remember you had like a very, you had like a very, um, not even sexual, just like sensual welcome message. Oh, to my OnlyFans? I think so. I don't know if I have that anymore. I may be mixing you up with one other person. I, I had a little, like a little red bikini top that only covered the nips and I was just like, here are the books I like to yes, read. Yes, 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 <laughs> yeah. yes, yeah. It was, it was, it was not sexual, but it was sexual Yeah, at the same yeah, time. yeah. A little girl next door flirty. Of course. Very, very smart of you. <laughs> But um, okay, that's amazing. Texas, what? I just did something on my OnlyFans that I've never done before. Oh, please tell me. I did a blowjob video with a facial. Whoa! <laughs> my very like, first like one like ever. Showing your face. Yeah, the whole time. You never done that before. Mm -mm. Weren't you making sex tape? Uh, not really. Not not really. Okay, I so did like a couple videos here and there if I would be like drinking with Ooh. an ex or something, but. No, not really. So this is like the first very one. exciting. Yeah, the first ones are your faces in it, and mm -hmm. there was a facial in the in the video. Yes. Whoa, that's big news! Congratulations on that. And when did you post it? Um, I think it just must have been a couple days ago. And how's it going? I don't. I haven't checked. I'm scared. Check? Could we, could we <laughs> check it right now? We could. Can we check the stats right now to see how much it's made? No. Come on, we no, have to. I don't think we can. We do that. have to. We should. Let's do it. I don't know about that. It's getting hot in here. Let's do it. Logo. Let's do it. Ooh. Okay, so I'm looking at this right now. It's it's uh, it's at the top of your page. It's pinned. Oh, no. Tip one hundred dollars to see my brand new BG. He used my throat like a fleshlight, and then he came all over my face oh. and tongue. So it's a hundred bucks. You posted it March twenty second. It's now March twenty sixth. So four days ago. Okay. How much have we made on this? Over on over on the. I, actually, you, you take it. You take it. Okay. Well, I mean, I have to check. Honestly, I'm. So, I was so nervous, and when I get I can tell nervous, you're nervous. I can tell when you're I get nervous, nervous about, I feel bad about it. I get nervous about doing new things. I'm like, Ooh, I'm not gonna look. <laughs> so I haven't looked at all. But it's pinned right on top with a photo, with a, with a sensual photo. Oh no. There, there is a sensual. Okay, let me photo log in. Let me log in. So my password is. <laughs> I'm at the I'm on the edge of my seat right now. My heart's my heart's beating. I know mine is too. I'm getting really sweaty. <laughs> I'm I'm thrilled to find out how much this is. Me too. So it's been four days. All right, let's check my four profile. days, hundred bucks a pop. <laughs> I don't okay. know if I want to say this. <laughs> I mean, this is four days ago, so I just want to hear you. I just want to hear what you have to say. And be honest, be real about it. Yeah. Uh, maybe almost around like, ball, ballpark. Ballpark, ballpark, twenty grand. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. <laughs> This Not whole thing, this, this whole thing is so ridiculous. This this whole thing look, is so ridiculous. Look, I've never done that before. Very vulnerable of me. Twenty thousand dollars in four days. Very vulnerable of me. Oh um, God, all right. Word. Okay. I got slimed. <laughs> okay. I didn't know if that was maybe like a a, a phrase you guys use. You OnlyFans queens. To we got to slimed. Someone. Yeah. What what kind of what kind of you got any other weird phrases off the top of your head that you guys use? Um. I mean, whale, like if we have a whale is like a, um, a fan who spends a lot of money on you. So Ooh. you want to keep them around. How many whales do you have? I've got quite a bit of whales. Like over under five, ten whales? I would say some of them aren't full whales. And I, I, I call them like. It could be like, like a killer whale or something. Not, <laughs> yeah. Not, like a a, like, not, not a quite a humpback. Whale. Yeah. Blue whales. Well, a blue whale, I believe, is the largest mammal in the world. Oh. To my knowledge. So let's say a blue whale. What's a OnlyFans blue whale? Do you have any any ballpark on how much a career blue whale OnlyFans guy is spending? Oh yeah, some guys spend probably like their entire paychecks on OnlyFans with the girls that they like and chatting and little things. I like to keep them around. Any of them. Do you keep, treat the whale special at all? Oh, for sure. If yeah. if anyone if anyone spends money and time and on my account and my DMs, I will give them the most special treatment, give them free pictures, give them extra they are love the in. The chamber's full, full experience. Yeah, they have, they have a separate emoji. They have a little crown next to their name when I make sure that they spend yeah, money yeah. on me and they spend time with me. So I put a little crown so I can make sure I see them and prioritize them. Moby always. Dick, baby. Of course. Literally and figuratively. Huh? <laughs> Literally. Literally. Don't swallow me, though. <laughs> no, don't swallow them. Good analysis. That's the second interview I've mentioned Moby Dick in recently. 
Look at that. What's on your mind? <laughs> uh, well, it was just I had Drea DiMatteo from The Sopranos on recently. And I told her she was my white whale, which she is. But that's like. What does that mean? So Captain Ahab and Moby Dick, he was always trying to get Moby Dick. That was his white whale. Uh-huh. Like he, that was the one he always wanted to get. So she was the one I always wanted to get. Okay. So I finally got her. And um, yeah, that was, it was thrilling. Look at that. It was you amazing. got your white whale. I sure did. It was fantastic. <laughs> How about you? You've been doing that. You've been crossing any things off your bucket list recently in life? I'm going to Thailand uh, soon, so well, that's exciting. Didn't do it yet. Didn't do it yet. No. Yeah, like what? What have you crossed off your bucket list in the last year and a half? I've just been really since December. The move has been so much. So bucket list wise, I don't know. I went back to Italy. It was amazing. Love it there. Anything good happening there with those guineas? <laughs> With the guineas? Yeah, the guidos. The guidos, the guys. The Italians, oh. the paisans. Did I tell you about my fling? My no. Italian fling? No, but I'd love to hear about a nice oh Italian my fling. That gosh. sounds sexy. Wait, it was beautiful. Okay, so it, I was out with a bunch of friends because it was a girl's trip, you know? Mm-hmm. And I was, I was a girl's trip to Italy. Yeah. I was out with the friends and um, they wanted to go dancing. So we went to this little club after dinner and I. They were like hitting on a bunch of guys, and I just, for some reason, I just wasn't feeling it. Mm. I was like, usually I'm not. I was like, I'm gonna step away. So I was just in the back, just dancing my heart out. And I stepped outside because I was getting really hot. And then some guy came up to me, and he he was like, "Do you want to smoke a cigarette?" And that, I'm in Italy, of course. of course. So he rolled one, and that already was pretty hot for me. I'm already kind of drunk, drinking wine in Italy, and this man just offers a cigarette and rolls one up in his hand. I was like, okay. People thank love you. drunk cigs. Oh, for sure. Especially in Italy. For sure. So I I took the cig, smoked it, and then my friends ended up, they like went to like the Four Seasons or something with the guys. They were all married, by the way. It was Ooh, like a bachelor party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Relax, I found out later that some of the dudes that were married got head in the in the alleyway. It was it, it was pretty intense. You rat. <laughs> it was pretty intense. But I, on the other hand, I walked around, his name was Bruno. And I ended up spending the entire night walking around Italy. He took me to the Duermo, and we danced in the Duermo. And I was get, I was just so drunk, having the greatest time ever, just spinning around dancing. And he, I, I knew him for maybe four hours, mm-hmm. and I fell asleep during the sunrise. We were like watching the Ooh, sun come up, and I fell so asleep. Romantic. It was so romantic, and it was so it felt like a magical fairy tale. But immediately, I woke up and was like. I actually don't know who you are. <laughs> I kind of need to get out of here. And so I wanted to leave, and he was a little bit persistent. And then when I finally left, he literally followed me around. Some I don't know how, but we would be going at, throughout Florence and stuff, and we would sit by, like, hookah lounges, and he'd be sitting outside the hookah lounge, like, messaging me. And I would see him, and he'd be like, what are you doing? Are you free? And he would see me, and I'd be like, no, I'm not free. And then I would see him be like, I see you at the hookah lounge, you lie. And I was like, oh, my God, this is scary. Russian I don't know. It like it's Russian. A Russian accent. But then he, um, we, like, we left from Florence to another place, and he wrote me this note. I won't even, I won't, I won't have to read it because it's really long, but he wrote me this love note that I wrote down, and I had to translate. And he, look how long this is. This man knew me for three or like four hours. Oh, she's still scrolling. She's still scrolling. <laughs> and the scroll, that's long. Yeah. But now, did you guys do anything in those four hours? Or was it just simply a love connection? I think I kissed him a nice few kiss. times, but that was you it. Make out quick. It's Italy. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember a make out. Because mm-hmm. I feel like I was just like. Really, I, I didn't even like recognize he was there most so was, of the time. Yeah, I was just like was feeling a, myself. Just, yeah, it was a spiritual connection. Yeah, You're but, not even saying it was a spiritual connection. You were just kind of just feeling yourself and he was just there as well. Yeah, I had to like Google translate it too. And it's, the thing is like, I, he recognized things that I didn't even recognize in myself. He would say things like, he, he remembered the, every like, line of my tattoo and he was like the way that this tattoo curved to your mother's voice and stuff Sounds i was like romantic. it was so romantic so, yeah the italians were romantic i'm reading it to my friend and the whole time she's like oh honey he's gonna cut you up and put you in his freezer Maybe not that romantic <laughs> it's like well to me it sounded like a dream Damn, have you guys talked since no i blocked him <laughs> oh, poor bruno i'm just scared i just i don't know i don't know people and when was this this was years ago. It was a few years ago. Ah, oh, man. Poor Bruno. 
know. Um, how how else have uh, things been on OnlyFans? Have you ever um any new crazy subscriber requests you've come across? Hmm. Any anything that freaks you out? Since the last time we talked, a long time ago. Yeah, I feel like I had this one person. I had this one person message me, and I had to say, absolutely not. I feel uncomfortable. And it was just purely the fact that it felt like he was trying to come at his like ex-wife or something. Ooh. Because his custom request was for me to start stripping and call him by name and say how much I want it and then say how much I'm better than someone named Brenda and then talk shit about Brenda and say and I was like, why am I talking shit about a different person? <laughs> that doesn't sound that fun. That doesn't really sound like it's worth the money if you're gonna pay somebody to make fun of your ex. I was like, I think I, I want it more know. authentically than that. I know, and it felt like he could use that to be like, yeah, Brenda, look, I'm still getting fucked, and this girl is talking shit about you or something. Ooh, I was like, yeah. I was like, this just seems icky. The OnlyFans <laughs> watermark at the bottom left probably would have really screwed that up for him. <laughs> yeah, the cameo. <laughs> Hopefully Brenda's quite smart on that. Yeah. But ooh, part, did so, you, damn, you didn't do it out of respect to Brenda. I was just like, this is weird. I was like, I don't, I don't want to be in some, I don't want to be the quote unquote mistress in someone's relationship, even though I don't know. I don't who want they to be in a, in a digital love triangle. Yeah, that just sounds weird. I've had a few people ask about wedgies too. Ooh. Yeah, they want specifically my friend Maggie. They want Maggie Moody to uh, give me a wedgie. And she's the specific request that it has to be her. Yeah, it was a specific request for Maggie to wedgie me. So. I think I try to follow up and be like, do you want it to be a long wedgie? Like, is it just like a quick one? Is it like going in anything? I don't know. So try getting the scoop. We'll see. What do you love? Is, Ma is Maggie going to consider doing it? Or? Oh, Maggie will give me a wedgie. She'll do it. She'll do it. Why not? Why not? It's just girls being girls. It's just gal <laughs> stuff. Speaking of wedgies and underwear at women, this is an idea that I feel like no one does. You guys should. How come none of you guys do like topless pillow fights? We do. You just don't see it because we do it together. I mean, stop. Yeah, I know you're kidding, obviously. No, the thing is. Like, girls love, always love to be like joking, like, oh, yeah, we always have topless pillow fights. That's such a classic male fantasy. Why don't OnlyFans collabs ever just do, do, quite literally do the topless pillow fight? I've done them before. I've done them for OF collabs. I mean, I'll do more if you're requesting them. <laughs> That's a good idea. Imagine if, I, imagine if I started a topless pillow fight night for OnlyFans. Imagine that. Only stands fight night. Only stands fight, but it's like a fun fight. It's a fun fight. Well, night. yeah, like a, but but like it's 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 a fight night. It's a fight and it's a pillow fight night. <laughs> Wait, that's really and it's good. All the queens. That's really good. And then each level can progress and like the yes, and then there'll be a winner at the end. The very last level is the hardest, and it's baby oil all Ooh, in a yeah. little pool. I, I was thinking more like it almost sort of like a tournament, maybe. Yeah. Like like eight like girls, like eight girls bracket. And but how then, do you lose a pillow fight? You have to have like rules. Yeah, it would, it would, we'd have to like an audience, and we we vote for who wins, I guess, at the end of each fight. Everyone just votes for the titties that bounce yeah, the most. Because <laughs> I was th I was thinking like a bracket because there's no way that I could possibly decide who's going to be like the biggest matchup yeah. of the night, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's not a bad idea. That's actually not, and I would love to be a part of it. So let that me know because that sounds that really fun. If if you guarantee you have a spot, if we oh, do it. Oh yeah, okay. That's but, a good idea. Yeah. Damn, where can I host a topless fight night, though? A topless pillow fight night. Texas, my backyard. <laughs> Who would allow that? Yeah, it'd have to be like a backyard. Or like I have a, a like big a backyard. Property, I guess. We get live streaming on like yeah. OLED TV. Dude. I think it would make a good amount. Like, I, I'm not even kidding. I think this is a I think we're doing idea. this. I think it's happening. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Just for the podcast. Like, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm being that If we did a live stream from a yard. Yeah. You can sell the live stream later. Chop sell it the up. Live stream, post it on YouTube. Sell the parts get some, that get, get explicit. Some good queens. Topless rough and rowdy. No, it's basically topless rough and rowdy. Yeah. With pillows. With pillows. Wow. We can have specifically pillows that are made that have like the feathers and fly can out you, too. Can you do like can you, is there some sort of a voting feature in OF Live? I actually don't know. I don't think so, but or we but could, we could we could do something where it's like who, who tip, gets the most tips. Or we could yeah, who the gets the most tips? The most tips during your fight wins. Yeah, we could do most tips. And then you guys also... keep the tips and we keep the live money. Yeah. Or if oh, it's man. or if... if it's one stream too, it could be like tip one dollar for this person to win, tip like one fifty yeah. for this person, and then like each vote gets correlated. You. I'm I'm into I it. I may have just cracked the code. I'm into it. And if you want to have different games, sprinklers. <laughs> I mean, the don't know what to do with it. But... I'm just thinking of pillow fight night right now, presented by OnlyStands, and it sounds. I electric. really, really, really like it. 
what's the um, thing like location too? I mean, I feel like LA would be the easiest location. Yeah, we could do it in Deals I mean, backyard. Deals has a huge backyard. Maybe like Florida. I don't know. Rent out a little mini venue, like it's a. You just break. I think like we rent like a big Airbnb in Florida, probably. See. I feel like LA would be a little scary. Maybe Florida. Okay. I'll have to follow up on that. Yeah, follow up because I actually am super I'll, invested. I'll, I'll I, I really I'll like have this. To, I'll have to follow up on the pillow fight night idea. I, I know some people I can message to maybe help sponsor some. Oh, too. sponsor! We, yeah. could, we could definitely yeah. get some sponsors. Yeah. Oh man! What a, oh what a night! Oh my gosh! What a night! Glenn that boy. Pillow, this, this is exciting. <laughs> The pillow fight night presented by OnlyStands. Holy shit. That might change everything. Change the game. Maybe we could like start the first fight would be in like lingerie too. And then the title fights are topless. Yeah. Yeah. And the title fights are the ones that you got to pay for. Like getting yeah. like exclusive yeah, seats. Yeah. Like see? the preliminary. You, yeah. you get a preliminary fight. They'll get it to you for free. And then you got to pay for the big ones. Bruh. Are we okay. changing the game? Not a bad idea. <laughs> it's truly not a bad idea. Uh, we have to talk to the, I guess we'll have to probably talk to corporate OnlyFans about it too. To see if we could do a sponsored event. On the thing, I on that just like spilled all on me. Did you just get some four loco on your boob? All down my boobs. That's a shame. I know that that might be the sense of that's your last sip. Keep no more. So you got some wedgies. You got some. Uh, you got Brenda. A whole lot of shit like that. How's uh, how's life otherwise? It's good. You know, I actually was thinking about something. I wanted to know your the craziest places that you've had sex. Uh, zero. Zero crazy places. No. Literally just hotel rooms. Guess that's a little crazy. It's not. It's the least crazy place of all time. Dang, I was hoping to hear something crazy. No, I got nothing. You got any more questions for me, though? Feel free to ask any more questions we have. You give some stuff written down? No, I mean, I was going to tell you my craziest place. Please. I, I would love to hear that. That's that's why we're here. <laughs> well, that was just my segue into it. Because yeah, I was excited. Yeah, let's had sex in like the woods 30 times. I have had sex in the woods, but that actually didn't even make yeah. my list I of crazy you, I places. I picture you almost doing like an Adam and Eve type Type sex in the woods. I'm like biting the apple. Yeah, you like, like <laughs> leaves on your boobs. That, yeah, that, that's exactly. What, that's what you strike me as. But please continue. Tell me yours. No, I'm into that for sure. Um, craziest places I've had sex were um, the airport. Ooh, which airport? San Antonio Airport. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we'll change that. Um, that? I mean, LA. <laughs> How'd you do the San Antonio Airport? What happened there? Um, I was catching a flight and then I was like, oh, before I go, uh, so we went into like the family bathroom. Just you and a, and a pal? Yeah. So you were, you were traveling already? Yeah. I would have to say, respect to airports, I don't think that's the craziest thing in the world. I don't think it is. Family either. bathrooms in I don't think it's crazy. Great. I don't think it's crazy I, either. I wish I had a family just so I could go to the family bathroom in peace. That yeah. thing's like rock. I was like, I was like, uh, your nightlife, you go out, you party, what do you do? I'm not a party girl. What do you do? I do you keep. I do some Legos. I do Lego building at my house. I just recently got a switch. Oh, that's big. <laughs> yeah, so I've been really into my switch. Big purchase. I started Animal Crossings and Mario Kart and all that stuff. So I also my switch. It's in a case, like a carrying case that looks like a shark. Mm -hmm. And then you open it up, and then my actual case is like a fuzzy shark. Okay. And then my little knobs are two little fish faces. You're a nerd. I know. <laughs> it's like really like satisfying. What's it for like me. being a nerd? Honestly, I can't tell you because I really want to play the games all day, but I can't. I can't. Why? 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 What is up? What do you have to do all day? You have to film content. No, I just like I just get so bored playing the video games. Like I love doing it, and yeah. I love like setting up my switch, and like I'll play for a few hours, and I'm like. How do people do this all day? And then I just like sit outside and like watch a snail go from point A to point B for like forty minutes. That's what happens on Animal Crossing. How's content been? How you how how often do you film content? Every day. Every day. What's your what's your nine to five schedule like? Film me and you wake up. What do you do? Give me the rundown. I want to hear like your Mark Wahlberg rundown. <laughs> what does that mean? It, it like went viral. Like what he does his daily routine because he wakes up <laughs> at two a.m. and eats like thirty. Oh, I eggs. heard that. I thought that what, was a what's joke. your Mark Wahlberg daily rundown? <laughs> okay, so I got two different days. I got two different days, mainly. Yes. I got day one, which is the productive day. I'll wake up um, pretty early. Uh, early for me is, I think, like seven or eight. Mm -hmm. Wake up, take a little walk, um, maybe make matcha, maybe not. Sometimes caffeine isn't too much for me, but do my makeup, do hair, go to the gym first, do makeup, do hair, and then film content literally for hours, and then take breaks in between. 
either going to the thrift store and buying a bunch of fun thrift things or going to get a bunch of food and eating till I feel 300 pounds, going to, you know, just... And by content, what do we mean? It's like mostly it's like I'm making reels, I'm doing pictures, I'm making content. When you say OS. content... That'll be like... Like, say I got, like, a new lingerie outfit, so I'll do a strip tease and... So, how many, how many strip teases we do in a video. week? Oh, like, so many strip teases like strip te- a week. How many strip teases a week? <laughs> like, probably almost one a day, honestly. One strip tease a day, easy yeah. money, maybe, maybe a couple solo videos some that you Some solo just videos, some... Um, yeah, some... Just work some... those out. I got my four o'clock. Yeah. It's a strip tease. Yeah, and then if I have custom videos, I'll, like, mark that time out to do that if i have a live stream i want to do then i'll mark that time out to build a um like a tip menu and stuff to do all that what's on your tip menu my tip menu always changes depending on like what did well or what didn't but there'll be things from as simple as oh like blowing a kiss or sucking my finger to sticking my fist in my mouth or getting naked and twerking or like how much how much do i gotta pay for getting naked and twerk um Get naked and twerk one. I don't know because the regular twerk is like 20. 20 bucks. 20 bucks for me to twerk Easy. for a couple minutes. Easy. Okay. And then to get fully naked, usually I wait until I've made a certain amount for all it's the. A, that's strategy. Because, there, because there's also, idea. yeah, and there's also so many people that pop in to those because I have them free to join. Uh-huh. So they'll pop in and join and then they won't tip. So it's like, mm. oh, what I have and to get naked yeah. for this one guy, but. If you're no already one else naked, tips. if I popped in for free and you're already naked, then why would I tip? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So it's like you got to put it back on. You got to kind of. So how much is like a fist in, in your mouth? You just mentioned fist in your mouth. Yeah, that one I would do for like, um, that was like ten dollars I think for a fist in my mouth. If I value you ten bucks right now, can you put your fist in your yeah, mouth? Yeah, I can. Can you actually? Yeah, I actually can. And you know what's crazy? My hands like very big, like because okay. like my hands. I hand have big compared... hands too. Look at mine compared that, to yours. I have big hands. That actually is impressive. That's, like, that's... Like basically my size. <laughs> it's not that if far you turn off. Turn it over if you can see it on the camera. <laughs> I mean, very close it's hands. It's not that far off your size. I have naturally big hands for some reason, but I also. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I got a naturally big mouth. Jesus Christ. Did you hear the crack on that heaven? I don't even, I don't even think you, I don't even think you need to do anything. <laughs> Holy shit. I know. I would take pictures. I'd be like, <laughs> I would do photo shoots and stuff. And then during the BTS, they'd take a picture. I'd be smiling and it would just be like me like. <laughs> oh my God, you have like Gene Simmons' tongue but the mouth version. Holy, that is the biggest mouth I've ever seen in my life. I know, it's really, really not. not that doesn't really look that difficult, honestly, to put your fist in there. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't, I respectfully, I respectfully to the guys that pay, I don't really find that attractive. <laughs> I don't either. I don't get but it. But it's a cool talent. Cool talent. You want to hear something kind of bad? Sure. I put a um. What would you call this? Um, a um. Physically handicapped man's hand in my mouth, all the way down to his like, past his wrist. So you mean a, a little person? <laughs> no, 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 no. He was a normal person. He was on the Kill Tony show. Of and course he was. After the show. He had like hands like this, and after the show, I was like, "I bet I can put like your entire hand down to your wrist in my mouth." And he's like, "Okay." And I took a video, and I did it three times for some reason. And there's a video of me going down to here with this hand. Oh man, you're gonna get a lot of deep throw requests after this episode comes out. Huh? Oh, I mean that's easy stuff, but very funny. If that is, I'll send you the video if you ever want to see it. Damn, I, I am stunned. That's a that's. That's a large mouth. He's like, I'm never washing this hand again. <laughs> that dude? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, yeah. It felt wrong. I was like, should I? But his fingers were like not jointed like this. So I was like, easy money. Oh, and they were like that like, kind slip of? slip it right down. Oh, yeah. nice. Good for you. That's a fun fact. And you got any other good talents? Um, I can touch my tongue to my nose. I wouldn't, that doesn't shock me. I know. I could come nowhere close. <laughs> Nowhere near. I don't even think you're doing it. I did. Yep, Gene Simmons. <laughs> I can feel it. Gene Simmons. <gasps> I can feel Very it. Very interesting. All right. Um. Hey. So, we got any questions for me? I have so many questions for you. I would love for you to ask me some questions. We've been going for like forty minutes, so you could you could take over the interview now if you want. I miss you. I guess I could say the same. 
Not really. <laughs> you do, you do text me. Like you it. do text me a lot. I do. And sometimes I don't respond, and you continue to text me. Yeah. You remember when you Facetimed me really drunk? It happens the all the time. <laughs> no, that's that's literally my mo. I love Facetime people drunk. <laughs> and you had all your friends on the bed, and you were talking, and then you fell into them, and then they called me the next day. Like, when was that? That oh, when was it was November. That? I think so, maybe. I was at a wedding, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You must have yeah. just te- you must have texted me that night. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna face that. Fuck it, hi, cute. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I do that. I tend to do that from time <gasps> to time. You know what I'm getting? What? Why? Because I want. I want good. Look, I, I'm faking. I'm faking right now. Oh, I you're ha- saying you're, you're saying I have, you're juicing I have right now? I have a push-up bra right you're now. You're juicing right now? I've got a push-up bra right now. I'm faking it. I mean, they look pretty good right now. I know, but that's because this bra is mostly padding. Mm-hmm. So you're getting one? You, is it confirmed? Yes. And mm-hmm. it's it's not, like, I'm not getting anything crazy. I don't want to look not normal, mm-hmm. but my boobs, when they when they swell up, which they do, like, every few yeah, months. Every happens. They swell up, and they look like they're, like, double Ds or something, and I always... Love it, but then they deflate back into like my sad little, my sad little A's. Uh, <laughs> it's always those are not so A's, sad. dude. <laughs> it's always so sad. They're not A's. What, what are those? Okay, my sad little B's. Yeah, those are like a, that's a nice, that's a nice B. So yeah. what, what do you, what do you think you're gonna do for the future? You're so go... I'm just I'm just going to a full C, so that okay. it's always like that. So then when I do swell up, they'll swell up to a D. But when it's normal, it'll be like mm-hmm. just a normal C. Damn, have you figured out your whole doctor and everything yet? Yeah, I have. Where is it going to be? It's going to be in Texas. When's the big day? Um, April 20-something. One of those. I'm so scared. Wow. Are you that scared? I am because I'm never, I'm not like a surgery person. And I've always, I've I was, I was always, always against it too. But now, like, as I get older, I realize, you know, you just kind of, kind of got to do what you want to do You got to just do what you so Yeah. So April 20th around there, you're getting some new boobs, which is great. Your body, your choice. I think it's going to look phenomenal. Um. When you get this, are you afraid you're going to be an official big boob girl for the rest of your life? I'm not going to be like a people, big are, people are going to look at Keith and be like, oh, she's the, she's the boob girl. No, and, and I know I won't. I Even with what I'm getting, I'm not going to be the boob girl. I'm sure that most people are going to see my work and probably not even notice I had anything done. Like, you should, it's you very should do an OnlyFans shutdown and then turn it back. Like, like Pretend you never posted nudes before. Once you get the new boobs, and then just be like, back, do the whole build up once but, again. But there's so many the nudes ones. that look like I have a like. I have so many, not even just nudes, like just like I have pictures on Instagram and stuff. I have so many like family members and friends that have asked me, "Have you gotten a boob job?" Just because it'll swell up sometimes. So I honestly feel like even if I never like announced it, I think I would just like. You were gonna try to do an incognito boob job. No, I wasn't. And tell no one. No, I wasn't gonna do that. But if I did, I don't think anyone would really notice. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not trying to get crazy. It's probably gonna look exactly like it does right now. You use an Ali's guy? No, he retired. He retired? Yeah. That guy was an artist. I know. Are you kidding me? That guy was like Michelangelo. <laughs> I know. He retired? I know. Yeah, he retired. When I found out hers were fake, I was like, "Holy shit! That that fucking guy." Yeah, I know. Just like metal. heartbreaking. <laughs> not no, not not that it's a problem. It's just that those things look really. No, good. it's heartbreaking that I can't get him. Yeah, that guy is like, that guy. <laughs> yeah. Whoever he, whoever that guy is. Yeah. Shout out to Ali. Check yeah. her out. AC Pent. Yeah. That that man is an artist. This is this is all I'm going to say. Let's, let's hope mine is too. Right. Damn, you should, at least get like a wreck from him. He's he retired. We just got to like, maybe he'll give you his Padawan. Mm-hmm. His his. I don't know, his former flame, not former flame, what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> like, like his former student, like, like maybe someone he recommends people now. His sensei. Yeah, 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 the guy, yeah, he's like Obi-Wan, maybe he's got a Luke Skywalker. Yeah, exactly. But damn, that's, that's sad, that guy, he should, he should keep going. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to ask you another question, but let me see where it was. Do you have your, your college, high school years, whatever? Mm-hmm. Do you have any fun stories of like running from cops or something or like getting uh, in trouble? That's a random question. Um, I mean, the only time I've ever ran from cops, literally, um, we like, when we were in the eighth grade, we ding dong ditch this mean guy's house, which I, it's like an asshole now. Like, I don't even want to ding dong ditch anybody. Um, in high school, the only time I vividly remember like us ever running anywhere was this one chick I remember had a party that was, you know how high school parties are. There's word gets out, and then if it's like someone, I don't want to say I'm no disrespect to the person, but if it's like someone that like no one really is friends with, so like, like when you're in high school, people like disrespect their house even worse when they don't know the person. Mm-hmm. So they were just inviting so many people, and I oh, remember yeah. like 
the cops came, there was had to be truly like 100, 200 people in the street. We were all just running around and trying to get away from the cops. There were so many people in the street. But outside of that, I mean, the only time I've ever really been given a ticket. You want to hear this? Yeah. The only time I've ever had to go to court. You're such a good boy. I am such a good boy. Aww. The only time I've ever had to go to court, I was, tell me if you think this is fucking badass yeah. or not. I was a month from turning 21. Nickelback was playing at Jones Beach Oh, Theater. this is, then they're your people. Yeah, Nickelback was playing at Jones <laughs> You're Beach You're acting Theater. up. <laughs> And we're all tailgating, having a nice time. But we're having a Red Solo Cup, so it's not like we were breaking the... We were, but like, when you're drinking the Red Solo Cup, you shouldn't technically be asked, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Cops come over, ask for all of our IDs. Half of us were 21, half of us weren't, because we were, that was the year we all turned 21. Me being the good boy that I am, I gave the cops my real ID. Yeah. Thinking they would... See, it's literally a month away on my birthday. It was, I think it was July 1st. July 1st, and my birthday's August 11th. They turned okay. 21. Yeah. And I was thinking, they were like, oh, this guy, we had, we had the garbage pail set up. We had the uh, we had the cups. Yeah. We were doing the right thing. We weren't making a mess. We were just mm -hmm. hanging out. Literally just a couple guys, a couple girls mm -hmm. watching Nickelback. Then I gave my real idea. Of course, they wrote me up. I had to go to freaking court twice, get a lawyer, paid 700 bucks, did like, I think, 10 hours community <laughs> service. Meanwhile, my friends were giving them blatant fake IDs, and they fucking got them off of me being a nice, honest guy. Oh, so you were doing the right thing. I'll, get the, I'll do the right thing, and I'm the one that gets penalized for it. They didn't even, like, check if your friends had real, real IDs or fake IDs? Well, the thing back then is we all had, so we all had real IDs that weren't us. Oh, that, but you were like, was, I'm, I'm just going like, to be the good person yes, right now. Yes, 100%. <laughs> oh, no. That was, like, right, once you turn, finally going near 21, the big thing yeah. for us was to get somebody's ID. Mm -hmm. Like, someone that turned 21 already. Like, me, I just had to find a fat guy's ID. Yeah. And, like, the kid I used had wavy hair and a mole on his mm -hmm. face. And it worked. It yeah. just, it was, once you're, like, once you're going to kind of real bars, just have the real ID that's not you is so much better than a fake ID that's you, but it's you're from Connecticut for no reason. Yeah. Like I'm going to a college bar in Long Island, and I'm from Connecticut. You know, I used a, I used a real ID to get my nipples pierced when I was 14. Ooh, that's rock and roll. Yeah, I was 14 years old. I was in Ocean City in Maryland. Mm -hmm. And... My friend, she was in the military, so I used her military ID because I was like, it's black and white. And they can't tell. The military ID. I was like, it's black and white. They can't tell, like, what I look like. like. And Ocean City is. Yeah, and Ocean City, whatever. So I took her military ID, and I was 14 at the time, and I was just, I was getting so drunk on my way down there. This was, like, my most destructive times of my life were high school. When you pop off. Yeah, and so <laughs> I was on my way down to the boardwalk, and I'm just like, I'd go up to random people. There's still a guy that I, w I walked up to and was like, hey, you got a beer? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, thanks. And like drank it. I still, he still messages me sometimes on Snapchat, like super randomly. But and this was 20, like this was like when I was 14 years old. This is a very long time ago. So I was walking down the street and I had her military ID and I got blacked out at this point. And we get to the tattoo piercing parlor and I'm like, yeah, I want some nipple piercings. He takes the ID from me and he gives me a piece of paper to fill out and the piece of paper says what's your name your address whatever and I'm like fuck I gave him the ID <laughs> I don't know yeah, anything it's, it's intimidating. <laughs> like, I don't know anything I spelled her name completely wrong and then for the address I didn't know her address so I said I live on 123 Happy Lane in Narnia okay <laughs> and he just he took it he looked at the paper the ID at me a few times until he was like just come back with me <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's... here's my nipples and then he knows I'm obviously underage but the whole time was like so do you do squats do you work out I'm like I'm sitting on I don't want to hear about the creepy <laughs> Ocean City guy piercing a 14 year old's nipple right now okay facts 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 that's just not what I want to hear facts, about facts 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 but um hey Keep this was fun. This was a good time. We're about like we're at like fifty minutes in. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Last chance. Okay, one more thing. Any no, we got well, we got time. So is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, I want to talk about the um running from cop story. I have a little story. Oh yeah, please fill me in. Um, do you remember Pokemon Go? Of course, I caught a, I caught a such a great one on twenty third and seventh one time. On twenty third and seventh. I think a Magmar or something. It was okay. Awesome. Go ahead. I was hyped up, but yeah. I never played, but we were at a party once when I was in high school, mm -hmm. and the cops had come, and I just remember all the kids running out of the back of the house and stuff and jumping into a car. Everyone in the car is obliterated drunk, 
And as soon as we start pulling off, I remember seeing the the lights, the, the police lights. We pull us over and everyone in the back seat's like, oh my God, this is it. Like, we're about to get so fucked up. Like, our parents are going to be so mad. This is the end of our life. Blah, blah, blah. And the cop comes up, puts his flashlight in the door and says, did you guys just leave that party that just happened? And for some reason, the driver seat, or the guy in the driver's seat looks over and just immediately goes, no, sir, we were playing Pokemon Go. And the guy was like, oh, did you catch anything nice? And he was like, oh, yeah. And he pulls his phone up, pulls the app up. He's like, yeah, we got a Charmander over here. We got that over there. And the cop was just like, okay, you guys have a good night. Stay safe. We so, got away by saying we're playing Pokemon Go. You, we should bring it back. <laughs> I know. We should bring save it back. Save the kids. Come Definitely on. Definitely save the God, man. That brings me back. Remember the time when you thought your parents would just absolutely kill you if you drank alcohol in high school? <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember, it like, calling my mom, though. Be all, yeah, it would just be and then you call them over. when you actually have an issue, and they're like, thanks for calling me. Like, that's fucking yeah. crazy. <laughs> like, we really thought that was, that was it. If we got caught drinking, we would just be dead. Yeah. Oh, well. We're surviving. Look at us now. We're both of age. What's your craziest party story off the top of your head? Oh shoot! Craziest party story? Yeah, you gotta have one. Oh, I have, I have quite a bit, I think. Um, I don't know why, like something like not like really fun pops in mind. Ooh. I don't know why. You said craziest party story. I'm thinking of like when. I'm th for some reason I'm thinking of when I was at a party and like this guy, picked up like. Oh, I don't talk about that. Ah. <sighs> Picked up what? He picked up like a knife and like was like, like drank his blood out of his. Ooh, you kind of strike me as somebody that would drink their own blood. Me? Yeah. Well, if I have a cut, like I'll. Not even that. Just like I, I could see you doing like. You think I'm like a vampire? I could see you doing like the. I've had girls on the show say they do like like from their fucking they'll like they'll cut each other. Uh -uh. I could see that being uh -uh. you big time. I could so see you doing that. I I, I kind of feel like thank you because I feel like. A kind of bitch that gives that vibe has to be kind of powerful bad bitch. I you're but, definitely a powerful bad bitch. But no. If you told but, me you you and and whoever you're banging would cut each other up while you're getting like it Megan on, Fox and MGK. On, yes, like I, I could so see that. Speaking of, you are a very interesting looking woman. Not looking is interesting human being in general. What what the fuck? What what's your what's your favorite sexual thing? Is like what hypes you up? What revs your engine? Like when, like when they're getting down to business. Yeah, yeah, like, like, what gets like yeah. Going? Shoot, I, I feel like I'm gonna disappoint you. It's not gonna, it's not that crazy. If you say, yeah, see, if you say vanilla, I'd be so shocked. And I'm the most vanilla person out there, for the record. So you let me know if it's vanilla. Okay. So what I like, I like it to start. I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a very passive girl. So I'm very submissive. And my favorite, like, jump start is me, like, pretending like I'm sleepy, but I'm not, and I'm laying there, and then I want the person to just start, like, kissing my neck, kissing my back, grabbing my waist, tossing me around. I want to be, like, your little rag doll who's, I'm just trying to sleep, but I'm just getting tossed around. Mm. That's my favorite. And then leading into, I want to get my mouth spit in. I want... I want to feel like if I had no limbs, I've had no way to move my body, it would be fine because you could just like toss me and flip me and push me. And, mm. Yeah, that doesn't sound that vanilla to me. The spin in the really? mouth thing doesn't sound very vanilla. Spin the, the mouth? The sleep okay. thing, though, do you stay in character as a tired person the whole time? No, 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 no. once no, it no. starts, you it's become just, untired? It's just the initiation Okay, part. just the initiation. That's it's cool. It's just the initiation part. And then I become alive. The thing is, like, when, mm -hmm. like, I'm not, I, I'm only submissive towards the beginning but once once you've initiated i if you're gonna kiss my back and you're gonna kiss my um my lower back and stuff and like initiate some play i will completely switch characters and i will hop on top i'll be the animal that just like sucks a soul out your dick like if i'm being treated the way i want to be treated i will go all the way in you know go off queen yeah <laughs> We love that. And hey, I guess we could end on that. All right. This cool. has been fun. Thank you for this coming. This has been good. I'm glad you're in New York. This worked mm -hmm. out well for Let's my one day in New York. get some freaking drinks. I could get a drink for a half hour. Let's do it. One half hour. And then I have okay. to go to a hockey game with my uncle. Right. I, have to have... Be, I have to be wholesome. All right. Be wholesome and have fun, but I hang out with me for a half hour. I'll give you one half hour. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sounds lovely. Thank you, Keith. You want to you shout anything out? Um, No, but I might be on OFTV soon, so. I was just going to want to shout out like your actual OnlyFans. You could do that. Oh, you're right. That would make sense, right? Yeah.
Yes, I want to <laughs> shout out my OnlyFans. It's Keepers, K-E-E-P-E-R-S. I just released something very fun and new, as you heard, but more to come. Wait, when you say more to come, what does that mean? What do you envision yourself doing? More to down come as in like me coming on camera with That's what I mean. Like what, what do you what do you envision yourself doing in like just the blowjob videos? You're ever gonna maybe pop off on something like I can see you doing like a threesome video. Here's the thing. I probably will. And I wanna do that. Actually, I don't know if I'll do no, probably not a threesome video. Mm -hmm. But I probably will do some more BG. Maybe a threesome, if not a threesome, foursome, five some, six some. So do you want to become a porn star? No. <laughs> you're a porn star. You no, no. Porn you star. you stay tuned to see what you're gonna see until I'm never on this app again. Because there it will be Ooh, a point. There will retire. be a point. There will be a point what? that I'm just gonna be on Netflix or Hulu and I will no longer be a sex object. So you might as well get get what I'm getting while you're getting it. How much cash do we gotta make <laughs> to retire? <laughs> I don't know. But I would give anything to just like be on Netflix and stuff. I really I like acting and stuff more than. Do you have a specific LF, acting scene that's just your favorite? Did you see my Piranha Women? I can't say I did. Plenty. What's like your favorite acting move scene of all time though? Oh, like scene of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite movie scenes are from Across the Universe. Okay, I don't know that movie. I was gonna say, give us some acting. <sighs> give us a scene. I know. Well, if you go on Amazon Prime. And you buy Piranha Women. I'm in it. Piranha Women sounds like a sounds like an Oscar award winning picture. I basically kill women. It, it's it's like Sharknado met Jennifer's body. What what's a, what's a better pitch than that? It's literally that's exactly. Are you one what of the stars? Is. Yeah, I'm I'm in the I'm on the front page of it. So if you look up Piranha Women, it's me going like this. And there's sounds like an Oscar award winning production. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to check it out. <laughs> Well, nothing, nothing you want more than Sharknado meets Jennifer's body, starring Keep. So honestly, you just smoke a little weed, drink a little beer, whatever you want, and it it it's so much. Is it a horny it's, movie? It's so fun. No, it's it's not super horny, but it's like really funny. There is a scene. It sounds where like horror horny. It sounds like scene, horny. Yeah, it's like one of those. It mm -hmm. looks like I'm. There's one scene where it looks like I'm about to go give him head underwater, but and I just. I just take off. <sighs> Eat him. Ooh, I'm out on this movie. I'm not gonna watch it. But it, you don't see that. It's more funny. I don't like you gore. See him and go, oh. I don't like gore, but hey. Great. All right. Well, it's good. Watch it. All right. <laughs>